Magister Ludi by Hermann Hesse stands as a luminous testimony to the essence of the true educational process as it is experienced by both teacher and pupil. As a novelist, Hesse often postulated the possibility of a spiritual kingdom towards which his heroes strive. In Magister Ludi, the hero struggles to be true to his inner guide and is assisted by a teacher who is centered in his inner self. Both teacher and pupil aspire to live and experience the inner perfection. The example they set before us is an inspiration that will hearten us all on our own educational journeys. In Magister Ludi, we encounter an imaginary elite educational institution called Castalia, a community devoted to the mind. Meditation plays a key role in the life of Castalia. Most Castalians graduate and work as teachers both within and outside Castalia. The most highly gifted individuals, however, become part of Castalia's elite the glass bead game players. Hesse's protagonist, Joseph Neth, studies under Castalia's guidance and eventually takes his place in the hierarchy. Throughout his life, Joseph is conscious of an inner sensation which he describes as his own growth of consciousness. Joseph comes into contact with many teachers but none influence him as profoundly as his beloved music master. Music master as a teacher reveals some of the qualities that make him an embodiment of excellence. He never forces his own knowledge or understanding on his students, but leads them to discover those possibilities within themselves. As he develops, Joseph finds himself drawn more and more to the glass bead game. The glass bead game is essentially a kind of mental synthesis of the spiritual values of all ages and cultures.